So I'm on the Vermilion River and I'm uh, going for a canoe ride. It's a little bit windy out. I'm just kind of canoeing around um, looking for fall colors pretty much. Uh, the colors aren't exactly in their prime. I'm just looking for you know small maple trees that are red already and uh, some of the smaller trees that are along the river that are red. Um, or yellow or whatever. I'm just trying to get reflections and whatever I can really. But um, I used to do this. <laughs> I used to do this a lot more. Um, so I'm pretty comfortable having a, a camera in the boat. Uh, and I have it on a tripod in the middle of the boat. And I'll just show you guys kind of what I do to um, not get my camera wet or not flip this thing with all this gear. Um, a little bit of bravery is going to be involved because like I just smashed into a rock there and trusted that the camera wouldn't fall over but as you kind of canoe you'll understand that this stuff you know it's it's actually pretty stable um, and uh, I'll just show you kind of my setup okay so here's my camera on my tripod um, a tripod that will spread out a little bit uh, lower would be a little bit better, but you know this this thing's obviously quite stable. Um, I do have this just kind of in between. Uh, I forget what this is called. The yoke. I don't know. Anyway, I have it in between here, uh, and that's just so I could I could put my foot on it while I'm paddling. So as I grab my paddle, I, I do have my left foot on here just for extra stability and then my camera bag I do have the uh, leg going through the uh, handle of the camera bag right here so if this were to fall the weight of the camera bag will prevent it from falling uh, completely so I don't know I, I used to do this a lot more this year I haven't gotten out much in this canoe um, since I got a real boat but uh, I thought well I'll go out and see if there's any fall colors um, I am sitting at the front of the canoe. I'm sitting at the front of the canoe paddling forward um, because the back seat is so far back that the front of my canoe would be sticking up in the air. And if the front of my canoe is sticking up in the air, then this boat's not very level and my gear's going to be rolling around. You don't know, you don't want your tripod and your camera on a canoe that's, you know, sticking up like this way up in the air. So. I'm using the front of the canoe okay, as the driver's seat instead of the back. Um, and I have my camera bag in the middle of the canoe just to uh, kind of even out the weight. It's about seven or eight pound camera bag so it, it does kind of help even out the weight a little bit and keep that front end of the boat down. Um, so it's, it's pretty stable. Um, there's nothing behind me everything's in front of me so I could see it and grab it quickly and uh, as I flip this you know I, I could open this you just make sure all these are closed because you go like this and bloop, something just went in the water so there goes your lens pen but uh, yeah that's that's my basic setup uh, the key thing is that I'm using the front of the canoe as the driver's seat to help uh, even out the weight so the colors aren't too good out here, so I've um, switched to the telephoto lens. You can see my technique when using the telephoto lens. I'll move that bag out of the way. In the center of the boat, camera bag is still in the center of the boat to uh, counter counterbalance this whole thing. I'm squeezing my legs against the tripod as I paddle. Obviously, the lens is hooked up to the tripod not the camera everything needs to be balanced um, and and that's pretty much it really I did extend the legs you never extend the neck because you want that uh, center of gravity to be low so you widen out the legs as much as possible I didn't even have it at its widest like that and you use the legs if you need it to go higher use the legs don't use this here because you're, it's going to be too tippy so the technique with the telephoto lens 
I know they're more expensive, but it's actually even more stable because you're squeezing the tripod with your legs, so it's uh, it's quite comfortable actually. a Diet Coke around here. There we go. 